Good day, I'm Carrie Ann Smith and this is your GIS News for Thursday, March 10. The newly elected members of parliament who were victorious in the February 25 general elections began their parliamentary term this morning. The new MPs took the oath of office shortly after their colleagues in the Senate. Senator Tom Tavares Finson, who was sworn in as president of the Senate, urged the newly installed members of the upper house to engage in constructive debate. I urge all members to ensure that their contributions are delivered in a manner that serve this Jamaica land we love. It is my intention that my tenure as president of this Senate is marked by civility and constructive debate rather than rancor and invective. He also announced plans to relax some of the House rules. I'll be relaxing the rules which deal with the asking of questions. The Senate consists of 13 government members and eight opposition members, but one less than the total were absent on both sides this morning. Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith was elected leader of government business, while Senator Mark Golding was named the leader of opposition business. In the lower house, meanwhile, Colonel Charles took the oath as Speaker of the House of Representatives. Derek Smith was named the leader of government business and Philip Paulwell leader of opposition business. Finance Minister Audley Shaw has indicated that the Economic Programme Oversight Committee, EPOC, will continue to execute its duties. EPOC, which was formed by the previous government, monitors the execution of the extended fund facility with the International Monetary Fund. The committee is co-chaired by Bank of Jamaica Governor Brian Winter and President and CEO of Sagicor Group Jamaica, Richard Viles. On Wednesday, Mr. Shaw and his state minister, Favel Williams, met with the co-chairmen and thanked them for their service thus far. In a release, Mr. Shaw said government was committed to transparency, accountability and stakeholder participation in the economic program. He added that EPOC was important to building investor confidence. The Scientific Research Council, SRC, is partnering with food manufacturing giant Grace Kennedy on the development of new food items from local agricultural produce. The two entities signed a three-year Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, at the SRC's Hope Gardens headquarters on Monday. It will facilitate new product development for commercialization and allow for mutual access to market and technical information. We want to expand our reach as a research council. We want to expand the effectiveness of our offerings, the effectiveness of our innovations. At the end of the day, we're not just looking on development of products, but supporting a number of industries, supporting a number of players, the farming communities, as well as the persons who are involved in manufacturing, in sales and distribution. Chief Innovation Officer of Grace Kennedy Foods, Zach Mars, says his company's goal is to build on brand Jamaica, using Jamaica-based agro-produce to innovate the next wave of new products. The National Water Commission, NWC, will begin installing about 50,000 solid-state water meters in the Kingston metropolitan area this week. The cost-effective devices were procured as part of the non-revenue water program. NWC President Mark Barnett says they are seen as an essential part of the process of making the NWC more efficient. They should also reduce the cause of disputes and disagreements with customers, as well as ensure that the NWC is able to more accurately measure and collect for all the water it supplies. The water company is urging customers to cooperate with the professional installation crews who will be properly identified as working on behalf of the NWC and NRW program co-management partner, Maya. The National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, has been given six months to make advancement in four priority areas. The mandate was laid out by the new Minister of Local Government, Desmond McKenzie, during a working meeting with NSWMA management yesterday. He called for immediate attention and action towards the establishment of partnerships and maintenance of open dialogue, garbage collection, public education and enforcement and compliance. Minister Mackenzie charged the team with restoring credibility to the authority and emphasized that there was no room for non-performance. And finally, an initiative to bring up grades or BUG has been launched to assist students by providing recognition to those who earn improved scores in their studies. It was created by the Kiwanis Club of Montego Bay. The BUG program has been endorsed by the Education Ministry, which has noted the far-reaching impact it will have on students. Rewarding achievements is always a commendable gesture as it can serve to motivate the recipients to strive towards realizing their full potential and non-achievers to inculcate industrial ambition. 
The Ministry of Education is proud to associate with you as you embark on this initiative. Recognition for students who have improved grades include certificates being placed on the school's bug honor roll and more. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Kerri Ann Smith. Thanks for watching.